In the realm of the wild, the heads of some animals bear remarkable and fascinating structures. Today, we explore these natural crowns and swords, the horns and antlers of the animal kingdom. Like the crowns and weapons of human lore, these structures symbolize status and are tools for combat. When we talk about horns in the animal kingdom, we're referring to a specific type of headgear. Typically, horns are permanent structures found in both males and females of a species. They consist of a core of bone, which is part of the animal's skull, encased in a sheath of keratin. This is the case for animals like buffaloes and goats. However, there's an exception. The horn of a rhinoceros is unique. It's composed entirely of keratin, without the bony core typical in other horned animals. This distinction is significant, yet doesn't change the primary function of the horn. Horns are generally curved or spiral in shape, and unlike antlers, they are not branched. They grow continuously throughout the animal's life, and they are never shed and regrown like antlers. Their permanence is a key defining feature. Horns are used for a range of purposes, from combat and defense to attracting mates and establishing dominance within a herd. The shape, size, and curvature of horns vary widely among species, tailored to each animal's environment and lifestyle. From the imposing curved horns of a bighorn sheep to the more unusual straight, pointed horns of an oryx, each has evolved to suit the specific needs of the animal. Now let's turn our attention to antlers. Antlers are fascinating structures found primarily on members of the deer family, like deer, elk, and moose. Unlike horns, antlers are usually only present on males, with some exceptions like the female caribou or reindeer. What sets antlers apart from horns is their growth cycle. Antlers are made entirely of bone, and they're the only mammalian appendages capable of complete regeneration. Each year, antlers are shed and regrown, a process linked to an animal's hormones and linked to seasonal changes. During their growth phase, antlers are covered in a soft, vascularized skin called velvet, which supplies nutrients to the developing bone. Once fully grown, the velvet is shed, and the hard, bony structure of the antlers is used during the mating season. This shedding and regrowth process is unique to antlers, distinguishing them from the permanent nature of horns. The primary role of antlers is for mating displays and combat between males. The size, strength, and complexity of a deer's antlers can be a sign of the individual's genetic quality and vitality. In these battles, antlers are used much like swords, clashing with those of rivals to win the right to mate. Antlers can vary greatly in shape and size, from the towering branched antlers of a moose to the more compact and pointed antlers of a white-tailed deer. This variety reflects adaptations to different environments and mating strategies. In nature's grand theater, horns and antlers play dual roles. They are crowns that command respect and swords that defend and conquer. These magnificent structures remind us of the parallels between the human and animal kingdoms, where symbols of power and tools of battle shape the stories of life. As we marvel at these extraordinary features of the natural world, we're reminded of the endless wonders and mysteries that await our discovery. Stay curious and join us again for more episodes on this ongoing journey to unveil the secrets of nature. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe.